Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are going to go over some of the best cards to start out your hockey ultimate team, specifically if you're starting in the holiday season or around January. Now, team building in NHL 22 changed drastically in comparison to NHL 21 in the sense that the values for cards are not really among the cheaper options. And what I mean by that is that 83s and 84 overall cards are essentially currency now in NHL 22, meaning that some sets require specific 83 overall cards, 84 overall cards. So it means that the value, the floor value of those overalls, whether the card is good or not, is kind of higher than they have been in prior years. In past years, an 86 overall card was worth the same as any other gold player because gold collectibles just cost any gold player to trade in. And like I said, in these new sets, it requires specific tiers of cards. So 83 overalls are required for some sets, 84s, 85s, and so on. So when it comes to first starting out your team, that's where things change quite a bit. For example, an 84 overall card now might not seem like a very good card, or maybe if you just opened up your starter pack, 84 or 85 would be a really good option for you but it's not worth spending 10,000 coins on an 85 overall card that you're going to replace that isn't very good right now in comparison to what's going on among other teams however because 88s and above at the time of this recording are not required for any set that is where you find a lot of value so i'm going to go through about 10 cards that i think are tremendous value for anyone first starting out your team these are the cards that i would put focus on specifically early on when building your team if you started around the holiday season so guys if you enjoy the content please give the video a like as it does help me out quite a bit with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel as I really appreciate it. You get the most up-to-date news, info, and tips for NHL 22. Let's get into the video. All right, we're going to start at the bottom in terms of just the cheapest cards. These are the first ones that you want to get for your team. Now, what you want to prioritize, as always, is speed, but specifically early on, if you're just starting your team out around the holiday season, it's extremely important because you need to have at least cards that can keep up, regardless of shop, body checking, all of that. You need to make sure that you can at least keep up as best you can against some of these teams. There's really nothing you can do if you've got a decent card that has okay shooting, but he's got 10 to 12 less speed, and you're just going to get blown by, and it's just it's not going to be a very fun experience, especially if you're starting later in the year. So this 82 of Genny Kuznetsov with Fly the Zone gets up to 92 speed. It's only going to cost you 2.5 thousand coins. So 2,500 coins is extremely cheap. It's one of the first cards that you should go out and buy, and this will give you a great left-handed winger that you can go out and use right away. On defense, you can go out and get the 84 Quinn Hughes right now for about 5,000 coins. It does come with Booming Shot, which in my opinion is one of the best synergies that you can add. Activate. It touches four synergies or four attributes that have impact on the game. Strength is more of a modifier stat, but it helps with body checking and balance. And again, getting body checking set up is really important. It's not really going to do anything for this Quinn Hughes in particular, but still a very, very good stat to improve. Agility and shot power, obviously important as well. So booming shot on this Quinn Hughes for 5,000 coins. This would be the first defenseman to go after. Now, once you start getting some cards in, again, once you actually have a team established a little bit, a 5'10 defenseman is not something that you want to go out and get. So I just want to make that clear. This is just because of the speed uh, to give yourself a chance to get back defending the rush. Next up, a great center option for about 10,000 coins is the 85 team of the week, Dylan Larkin with Thief. Just a good synergy to have, obviously, on a centerman. He's 6'1", which is good size, 91 speed, 91 acceleration. His shot is not very good in the mid-80s, and hand stats aren't anything special either, but his defensive stats with Thief activated go up to be pretty useful. Face-offs at 82 is fine. Defensive awareness stick checking at 92 is also great. So a really, really good option for you when you're first starting at your team to get a decent centerman for 10,000 coins. Moving up into a little bit more expensive cards, 15,000 coins will net you this 86 Taylor Hall. Now, the base Taylor Hall, is an, a decent option as well but he's becoming less and less of a value because his skating is just it's getting a little bit outpaced now this taylor hall is a little bit better obviously with light the lamp and applesauce which are two decent synergies helps out his hand stats qu quite a bit 92 speed 91 acceleration shot is above 90 with synergies activated on on the wrist shot which is important and again just a decent left-handed winger that you can put on your team and 15,000 coins is not going to break the bank for sure this superstar keith yando would be a decent option for you on the back end as well with applesauce and bombarded and booming shot you're gonna see a theme here in terms of the synergies that i like 88 speed 88 acceleration is obviously not great but early on beggars can't be choosers he's got an okay shot again body checking is a little bit weaker but he is 6-1 so that helps out quite a bit and again just a cheaper option for you when you're first just trying to get a couple of non-starter pack defensemen all right, now I'm going to show you some cards under 50,000 coins. And like I said at the beginning of this video, this is where you're going to find the value because these 89 to 90 overall cards, 
they don't have a, as much of a floor just yet. Now, the later you're watching this video, obviously that is going to change. But as it stands right now, 50,000 coins, Mark Shifley is one of the most underrated hut cards every year. I don't know if it's because he plays for the Jets. I don't know what it is. Everyone just seems to forget about him. Six foot three with Thief, which makes him decent at center. 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 90 shot, 90 hand stats. Like It's just a very good combination, and you can get a fantastic centerman for 50K with this 89 Mark Shifley. For about 30,000 coins, you can get this 87 Matthew Barzell. 93 speed, 92 acceleration with 90 wrist shot accuracy. And Thief on him, you could play him at center as well. 92 defensive awareness and 92 stick checking. Really, really good all-around card. And I've loved Matthew Barzal cards this year. He hasn't gotten a lot of them because he's struggled and obviously been out uh, missing a lot of games this year. But yeah, the 87 Matthew Barzal for 30,000 coins is a nice snag. This Jonathan Drew and the 88 overall for 47,000 coins. Six foot does come with booming shot as well as applesauce. 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 99 agility. His shot is above 90. Hand stats are above 90. Just a very, very good combination if you're looking for a decent left-handed winger. And again, under 50,000 coins. Really, really decent buy as well. With that 99 agility, having elite edges turned on, extremely good at doing the half spins and spinorama, which is extremely important in NHL 22. So uh, a really nice all-around card here. Get a little bit more expensive on defense. This is a really nice card as well. For about 60,000 coins, the 90 Peter, I'm going to say it's Sarasnak with Distributor as well as Spark and Light the Lamp. Uh, again, 90 speed, 88 acceleration, 96 agility, and 98 balance. A good shot as well. 92 on the slap shot powers. Passing is good at 94. Defensive stats are great. Body checking is 90. At six foot three, the stars of the month cards, I don't know if it's because they're European and maybe a lot of the North American guys just don't recognize the name, so they kind of avoid. Really, really nice values on a lot of these. So this is one of the better ones among the back end because there is not a lot of top tier options that aren't master set or X factor cards uh, among defensemen. Then we've got a couple of international cards that could go up in price once this event is over. But the 90 Grabner going for 55,000 coins. Light the lamp. Again, booming shot. Really, really good here. 94 speed, 93 acceleration, 95 agility. This is one of the best skaters in the game, honestly. His slap shot powers up to 97. Wrist shots above 90. His hand stats are a little mediocre in terms of the fact that he's a 90 overall. But defensively, he's really good as well. Defensive awareness is 90. Stick checking is 94. And body checking gets up to 90. This is one of the best all-around guards among left-handed wingers right now in the game. It's crazy. 55,000 coins. Vrana, another good option for you. 45,000 coins with booming shot, as well as light the lamp. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 94 agility, all above 90 in terms of shooting hand stats as well. Obviously not as good as a body checking there, uh, but again, another strong option for you if you're looking for a winger. And this OEL with Spark and Workhorse as well as Bombarded and Light the Lamp. Again, defensemen are tough to come by. He's going for about 75,000 coins, a little expensive. But as you know, this the year goes along, this card's going to fall in price. And one you should watch out for because he's going to have 92 acceleration, 91 agility. His shot is okay, but he's six foot two. Tape to tape's a really good uh, superstar ability. Defensive awareness and tick checking are also important. So just a very good, well-rounded card here in the OEL. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I hope some of these cards will help you get some value as you're starting out building your squad. Again, let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.